Hello, my name is Stephen Wilkinson from the Compost Tea Brewing Company in Perth, Western Australia. And today I want to show you what I've been working on this last week. So, this is a cone shaped water tank. And I'm, I make compost tea brewers with, a, with an air, air hose going underneath, uh, feeding from the bottom of the tank and that aerates the water uh, to a compost tea bag that we, we sit in the middle of the, the brewer. Now those are your conventional compost tea brewers that you'll be familiar with. Um, you'll see many of them online on YouTube. Now the, what I've been working on the last few weeks is on a, a Vortex tea brewer. Now if you look online, especially on YouTube, you'll see mainly in America they make Vortex compost tea brewers. Now the idea of the Vortex is you're, you're creating a swirl uh, in the centre of your of the water. Now it's a, a more of a natural process of, of the way water flows. So <clears throat> with a Vortex brewer you're not actually aerating the water. What I've got here is I've got an air, air pump, but it's not actually pumping water in, it's just they call it an air lifter. So that's uh, it's a, a moderate pressure in the bottom of the tube. What it's doing is it's actually just pushing water up to the top of the tank. And you've got the head of the water, which is pressing down, and that's what's causing the water to, to go down and then recirculate. Now, what I was quite uh, fascinated with was with watching a lot of YouTube videos. You'll see a lot of Vortex brewers with a three pipe or even a four pipe configuration. So they've got four tubes like this. You've got four air hose, air hose inlets as well. And some of them have got an overflow system. So you, it's a pipe work system that goes over the top, which means you can put your pump on the floor. Um, and to me, it just looked like over-engineering something that's very simple. All you're basically doing with a vortex brewer is lifting the water to the top of the tank, and that's and the head of the water pushes the water down and forms your vortex. Now, for me, the the disadvantage of having a four-pipe vortex brewer is, you know, you, you as the customer, you're the one that's cleaning the thing. Now, to clean a vortex brewer, you have to disassemble everything and you have to clean all of the, uh, the excess uh, compost tea out of your pipes. And uh, probably a four pipe system, you're probably looking at over half an hour to clean it. So what I've done with this brewer is just to simplify it. And although this is actually a prototype at the moment, I'm currently working on a, an even simpler system which is getting rid of all this pipe work. Anyway, I'll, I'll be working on that over the next few weeks. But what I want to do now is just to show you inside the brewer and what the vortex looks like. So you can see now, the water is flowing naturally. Now we've got a, just a single uh, outlet pipe. Now what I found is that <clears throat> to do a single pipe system, I'll just put a lid on because it can get a bit noisy. Um, what I found is with a using a single pipe system it did take me quite a while to work out the the correct pump to use. I mean I sell these air pumps in six different sizes. So and it is quite critical to get the right pump size for the vessel size and matching up to the internal pipe diameter. Um, but anyway, I've, I've worked all that out and I'm going to apply my knowledge, what I've learnt over the past few weeks, to a, an even simpler system. Now the benefits of a simpler system is it's going to be even easy, easier to clean. So... <clears throat> Thank you for watching today and if you'd like more information 
I've got a whole selection of conical brewers and I'll be putting the new Vortex brewers on my website which is composttbrewing.com.au um, Please check back again for updates on new developments I'll be making with the, the Vortex brewers. Uh, although it's only a small size, it's 150 litres, I will be making a, a 450 litre and um, a 1000 litre brewer for commercial uh, uses. So uh, don't forget it's uh, composttbrewing.com.au. So thank you for watching today.